How do I collect a note in Crescendo? The note is a 14 inch diameter ring that is two inches thick. The notes start both on the floor and in the source. You can collect them from either location, but you may need a more complicated mechanism to pick up off the floor. Collecting from the source is probably a little bit less difficult. Basically, all you need is some sort of inclined surface or another roller intake pointed up at the correct angle for the source because the human player can simply slide the note down and the robot can collect it. To create a floor intake, you're gonna have to either go over your bumper or under your bumper this year because there are no bumper gaps except for a tiny half an inch allowed on your robot. An over the bumper intake would essentially fold down to the floor pick up this and then flip it or otherwise get it up over top of your bumper. And under the bumper intake would allow the ring to pass underneath your bumper and then collect it inside your robot frame. So there's nothing outside your frame perimeter. Keep in mind that the only place to get more game pieces during autonomous is from the floor. You can't go to the source because your human player can't put a note in the source. They'd have to cross the driver line. Just make sure that if you value autonomous points highly, you have a floor intake. The note reacts really well to a spinning roller intake, sort of a classic intake in FRC. Uh, you want to spin your rollers extremely fast so as they come over it, uh, the ring is just sucked up right into your robot. In general, the sort of rule of thumb is that you want your intake to be spinning faster than you're driving at the note. That way you still have a positive net velocity of the ring into your robot. Animark sells loads of products and interact really well with this game piece. In particular, I've been impressed by how well the Compliance Star can kick these up off the ground and how well the Poly Belt can shift these through your robot. Any old Compliant wheel, including the Sushi Roller, is a great interaction mechanism to roll along this and pick it up off the floor. Once the node is in your robot, the best way we've seen to move it around is Poly Belt. By making these sort of Poly Belt tracks, the ring will very easily conform around the Poly Belt and uh, shift through your robot extremely quickly. One thing to keep in mind about Polybelt is while you do want to gear it very fast to make sure your mechanism is fast and efficient, Polybelt creates tension between uh, the two shafts that you have it running on. And that can increase the amount of torque that you need to get your game piece up and down. So make sure you're very careful when selecting your gear ratios for anything using Polybelt. A lot of teams will find success in combining an intake mechanism with a shooter or with other mechanisms on their robot. For this game piece, that's not a bad idea. Since it flows so easily through your robot with poly belt or with compliant wheels, you can combine some of these mechanisms very quickly. It's an element of design that I think is important this year. When building your intake this year, make sure that you're building a either robust intake or one that comes out of harm's way very quickly. This is a very fast game. We're gonna see a lot of very fast robots hurtling at high speeds across the field. You wanna make sure that your intake isn't damaged by one of them slamming into you. Put some careful consideration into how your bumpers interact with the note. Even when you're not intaking it, you will be seeing notes on the field, you'll be speeding towards them, you'll be seeing them at the source. You want to make sure that you understand how the note interacts with your robot on all four sides, or, well, as many sides as your robot has. Does the note come under your robot? Does it bunch up in the, like, bunch up underneath the bumper? Does it get pushed simply out of the way? We've been pretty impressed with how easily these shift across carpet, but you might want to confirm for yourself that your robot is interacting with the notes as you expect. Keep in mind that if your robot goes over top of these and one gets stuck underneath your robot, particularly in a location in the field like underneath the stage, that may cause interactions that you don't expect and don't want your robot to undergo. Make sure that you're thinking about how you interact with the note everywhere on the field, not just in open areas. And that is how you collect a note in Crescendo.